Hey, what's up, everybody? So I know I haven't been putting out as many uh, videos lately, but, you know, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I pretty much have come to the conclusion that YouTube's not going to um, allow me to make any money off this channel. I was rolling pretty good there for a few months, but, yeah, now I'm like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's just excuses on my part or if it's legit, but... Uh, it just seems like my videos aren't get, getting nearly as many hits, the last two that I put out. And, uh, you know, in my honest opinion, um, I thought they were pretty good stories, you know, experiences of mine. And, uh, you know, I thought I did them all right. But um, for whatever reason, you know, they didn't get the um, number of views that my videos normally get, like way less. But, um, <clears throat> you know, so the only way I'm really going to make any money off this channel is through my cash app. So to my followers and to any new listeners that come across my channel, if you like my stories, you know, please uh, feel free to uh, donate to my channel. You know, it'll be pinned to the uh, uh, top of the comment section in my video. And, you know, $5, $10, you know, whatever you can do, even $20 if you're feeling really generous, you know. Hey, trick or treat, you know. <laughs> but um, so like, you know, this... This month, you know, obviously is, uh, you know, Halloween, it's one of, or uh, October, it's one of my favorite times of the year, like I'm sure it is, uh, you know, for a lot of you guys out there. So I know I, I missed the, the beginning of this month and I didn't get a video out or anything, but um, I'm going to try to put out at least uh, three or four paranormal videos, um, you know, for the remainder, remainder of this month, maybe even more if I can... Uh, get around to because like most you know I work two jobs this is my second job where I do security on the weekends and then my you know daytime job is doing campus security at a junior high as most of you know saving the world <laughs> you know or keeping them bad kids in line basically so anyway um uh don't forget to hit like don't forget to comment and don't forget to give me a follow if you're not already a subscriber so this story is going to be um, about, uh, you know, something that happened like probably about 10 or 12 years ago. And, uh, you know, I titled this video Cemetery Ghost. And, uh, you know, you'll see why in the story. So like I stated before in other videos, um, one of uh, our favorite things to do on my uh, nights off from work is we like to go cruising. And uh, back in the early years of our, our, our relationship, me and my lady, um, I used to kind of talk her into going like kind of like ghost hunting with me at the cemetery. And she was kind of down with it back then, cool with it. But, you know, after a while, she's like, nope. <laughs> after a couple of experiences, you know, things that happened, she just, you know, was like, I'm not doing that shit anymore. <laughs> so basically on this night, um, we were cruising like, you know, like we usually were. And, uh, it was, so it was like me, wifey and, and our son, I think he was pretty small still, like maybe about, um, I want to say about seven or eight. Cause I think this was like maybe around 2011 or, uh, 2012. So we just happened to be driving through the cemetery that's in our hometown. And like I've mentioned in some other previous videos, it's open 24 seven to the public. It never, you know, gets locked up or nothing. So we were driving through there, um, probably around, I think it was a little bit after midnight, like maybe about 1230. And, um, so like right, you know, around the time when we were passing by the, there's like a big military section. Uh, I just happened to make the comment, you know, just kind of messing with wifey, trying to scare her. I said, oh, wouldn't it be cool if, um, if we could bring a ghost home with us or something like that? Or maybe it was, wouldn't it be cool if um, a ghost followed us home? Something like that. I don't remember my exact words. And of course, right away, she's like, shut up. Don't be saying shit like that, you know? And so I laughed, you know, because I scared her, you know? But um, so anyway... Um, Later that night, you know, we get ready to go to bed and, you know, it was maybe like 2.30, you know, 3 in the morning or something. We're, we're night owls, you know, we stay up late, especially on my nights off, you know. So anyway, um, so I go to sleep that night 
And, you know, before I, like, get into the story, like, some people might just say afterwards, like, oh, you just had, like, a, a scary dream or whatever. That's all that was. But to me, like, in my experience, there's, like, regular dreams and then there's, like, dreams that are, like, seem more realistic, like, almost like a vision. Like, it's not just a dream. And to me, this was, like, it was kind of like, um, I mean, I'll just tell the story and then I guess... You know, you can decide for yourself, but so basically I'll just, I'll just get into it. Cause like I said, um, I made that comment when I was passing by the, when we we're passing by the military section and there's military people from every branch of, of service, you know, buried there all the way back to like world war one. And then maybe even some older than that, you know, but, um, so anyway, I fell asleep and then sometime during the night, I just remember like all of a sudden um and like I said it wasn't it wasn't like a dream it was like it was really happening like I was really there um all of a sudden I don't know if it was I don't want to say it was you know Normandy you know but it was a sandy surface like this kind of sand that's on a beach and I don't remember seeing any water or not because it was foggy but all I, all I remember is like all of a sudden I'm with a bunch of other soldiers and I could tell by looking at them from playing like Call of Duty, like the, um, I don't remember which one it is, but like the World War II um, video games, you know, I used to always play those, you know, first person shooters. I could tell by the uniforms, it was like World War II, just by looking at the other soldiers. And we were in like a, um, like a big bomb crater or artillery crater or something. And, um... You know, I look down and I'm and I have a rifle and it's like a um, M1 Garand, I think, as it's called. You know, the the rifle that they use during that uh, during that war. And I'm just looking at the other soldiers and everybody's kind of like hunkered down, you know. And there's like bullets flying over our heads. We can hear them, and there's like you know bombs, like artillery hitting all around us and shit, and like people yelling and stuff, and. Uh, Next thing I know, man, this uh, this bomb must have hit like pretty close by, because all of a sudden, like my ears were just like ringing, like I couldn't hear anything, and then I'm just like I felt like a like a, a pressure wave, you know, like boom, like you know, kind of like knocked me to the side, and then I'm looking around and like you know everybody's like holding their ears, you know, and and I was like trying to like figure out why I couldn't hear, and then. Um, you know, like a little bit, like I'd say like maybe 15, 20 feet away from us, I see some dudes just like, you know, blown apart, you know, like just had gotten hit, I guess, by that artillery round. And then so maybe like a couple of seconds later, you know, I'm still just like looking around, waiting for my hearing to come back. And then all of a sudden, like all the sounds come back at once. And, and you know, I hear like machine gun fire and like people screaming and like crying and yelling and shit. And then all of a sudden, I, I see this dude get up from maybe like, um, I don't know, about four or five soldiers down. He kind of like, he didn't get up all the way, you know, but he kind of like got up a little bit. And I seen his rank, and I think he was like a sergeant. And um, he just like starts yelling some shit. Like, I don't remember his exact words. I don't remember if he yelled charge or, um, you know... Um, like move forward or something, but he yelled something, you know, and like pointed, right? So all the other soldiers start getting up and like, you know, I can tell some of them look like they didn't really want to, you know, and I don't blame them, but they all start getting up and start running forward. So I got up too and I start running forward and, you know, I start shooting. I mean, I couldn't even like see any enemies. All you could see was like, uh, like muzzle flashes and maybe like, a, um, like, what do you call, like, a, um, it's like the, the thing where it's like, um, there's like a machine gun in there and there, there's like a thing built around it. Man, I can't remember the name of what you call that, but I mean, any, I mean, I was in the army, but I was never in combat. So, you know, I'm kind of remember trying to remember these terms, but, um, it was basically like, just like a machine gun position. And then you could see like a bunch of like, um, just like dirt hills and sand, uh, sand bags and like enemies like firing from behind them. Right. So I'm running forward and I'm shooting 
And then all of a sudden, I felt like something hit me in the forehead, like hot. Like I felt like my forehead's burning. And then everything just starts to fade to black. And then all of a sudden, uh, I feel myself trying to wake up. And when I woke up, I could feel myself like sucking wind, like I couldn't breathe. So I woke up kind of like this, like, <gasps> you know, and then all of a sudden, like, I just remember hearing uh, my lady, she's next to me, and she's like pushing me like this. She's like, she's like, hey, what's wrong with you? She's like, she's like, wake up. She's like, are you all right? Are you all right? And then like, I finally caught my breath. And then I just like kind of sat there for a second and I looked at her and she was like, she was like, what's wrong with you? She's like, you're white like a ghost. <laughs> and I was like, holy fuck. I said, I think, uh, I think one of those spirits at the cemetery, like in the in the army section, like the military section, I think I think they just let me see through their eyes, like basically how they died. You know, it was like what it felt like. Like I'm not just saying this or telling the story to, you know, kill time or just to make a video. That's honestly what I how I felt when I woke up and I had a couple of seconds to think about it. It felt to me like I just had this feeling like I just saw through somebody else's eyes how they died, you know, in, in the war, you know, and, uh, you know, I, 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 maybe a couple minutes later, I said that to my lady, I was like, remember what I said earlier about, I wish, you know, I could bring a ghost home or whatever I said, you know, I told her, I think, a, I think a, a dead soldier just let me see through his eyes how he died in the war, you know, and of course he was like, See, I told you not to be saying that shit. <laughs> She's like, that's what you get for, <laughs> you know, for saying that crap, you know. But, yeah, it was it was a trip, you know. And like I started to say earlier, you know, some people might say, oh, it was just a dream. It's just a coincidence. But I 100% honestly don't feel like it was just a dream. I feel like, you know, some, you know, dead soldier let me, you know, experience through, through his eyes, you know, um, how he died in, in the war, you know, but, um, uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, I know it was kind of short. Um, I kind of did this at the last minute, you know, um, just been really busy or whatever, but, um, I should be making another video. I'm gonna try to get another video out this week, uh, possibly, but, um, for now, hey man, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Your homie, big Cisco. Peace.